Welcome to USL Pro Weekly. My name's Nicholas Murray. Matt Delacat has been a standout figure in USL since his debut for the Richmond Kickers in 2004. After a brief stint with the Rochester Rhinos, the English striker returned to Richmond in 2009 and last week recorded his 100th professional goal in Richmond's clash with the New England Revolution in the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup. We caught up with Delacat this week to talk about his recent milestone, the kicker's strong performance this season, and his goals for the remainder of 2014. Well, Matt, thank you so much for taking the time to join us again. We really appreciate your time. And first of all, congratulations on last week recording your 100th career professional goal. I, that's got to, it's obviously a testament to your longevity in the professional ranks. But what does it mean to you to, to bring up that total, especially against a side like the New England Revolution? Yeah, it was definitely nice to, uh, to score it, you know, against an MLS team and, and do it in front of, um, you know, the home crowd in front of friends and family. So, um, you know, that's kind of what I've done my whole career is try to score goals and, and help help my team. And, you know, I'm one of those forwards that kind of thrives off service. So, you know, if the service isn't coming in, I... You know, usually my goal production goes down, but obviously this year we've been getting great service and been able to score goals, which is great. Yeah, obviously you, re- you reached double digits in USL Pro, your 10th goal of the season on Sunday against the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Another big win for you guys, and it definitely feels as though this team is clicking into the sort of shape that it was last season, where obviously you won the regular season title. How is it? What's the feeling like in the room right now as to the potential for this squad? Yeah, I think, you know, we um, we feel like we still need to improve. You know, we've, we've still had positions where we've got points. Uh, you know, for Wilmington, for instance, we were two up and we conceded two goals and, you know, almost ended up losing that game. So we definitely feel like we we have areas we still need to improve uh, to push on and, and catch Orlando, who are, you know, about nine points ahead of us. So that's our goal again, obviously, is to to try and get that first place like we did last year. Um, but obviously, Orlando are kind of setting the bar, and so we're kind of chasing. We do have a couple of games lined up with them later in the season where we can obviously pick up points if we beat them. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting, but at the same time, we've got to keep our feet on the ground and realize we still have a, a long way to go and a lot of work to do. There's a bit of a race on between yourself and Orlando's Kevin Molino for the Golden Boot as well. There's some other very good contenders as well, a couple of goals back. But are you even thinking about that? And I mean, what does it mean to have reached double digits this early in the season? Uh, no, I mean, it's great. It's great to hit that 10th that goal in the league. Um, you know, I just hope it, it could continue. Obviously, it's still only just over the halfway point of the season. So I definitely want to, to keep pushing on and, you know, hopefully if I'm scoring goals, the team's winning and, and we're doing well. So kind of my my goal, is hopefully, would, would be to get another 10 before the end of the season if I can. You talked earlier about the service that you've been getting, and I think one of the things that I th- I've really noticed about the team this year is the new players that have come in. Some players like George Davis the Fourth, Samuel Asante, have really impacted the team positively in the attacking third. Especially a guy like George, what is it that he's brought to the team to provide that offensive spark that obviously has helped you kick on really strongly? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, you know, we've had several guys tripping in with goals now and, and uh, George has scored 10 goals this season you know because he had a few in the Open Cup too so it's it's always great when there are other threats on the field so that you know it's not just uh, one player they concentrate on stopping so um, you need you need several guys that can score goals on the field and, and that's what we have so um, you know obviously uh, we've had some great additions to the team that, that are helping uh contribute to our success. You've obviously come back from what was a very tough 2013 season. We talked about this earlier in the season when we spoke with you previously, but do you feel a certain amount of accomplishment at this point that you've kind of been able to get back to your best this year? Yeah, it's um, it was nice to come in, you know, healthy at the beginning of the season. Obviously, last year I was, you know, I had a long layoff and came in, kind of got healthy at the end of the season. So it was nice to... To, to come in and start the season fresh and 
you know, I've, I've, I've really enjoyed it. You know, obviously I'm, I'm a little bit older now, so my body doesn't quite recover how it used to, but I've, I've still been able to get on the field and score goals, which is great. You guys have a really good test this weekend on the road down, going down to the Carolinas. And particularly, I think everyone's really looking forward to, to Friday night's game as you face off against your longtime rivals, the Charleston Battery. What is it that has made this rivalry between the two teams, I think this is its 22nd year now, so special? Well, I think, um, you know, the two teams have been very successful. So typically when we do play each other, they're pretty high-profile games. Um, you know, I know we've met in championship games and in playoffs and, and typically in league play, it's, it's usually for a battle, you know, for the top of the table or, you know, somewhere in the player spot. So usually when the games are that big, obviously it's, um, it, it means a lot more too. So I think the fact that both clubs have had so much success throughout the years makes, makes the, the games that much more interesting. You got a couple of very good centre backs to go up against, probably in that game as well, in Colin Falvey and Sean Ferguson. What's the biggest challenge going up against those two players? You know, typically, uh, any, anyone you play against in the league, it, it's it's usually tough to to get space on the ball. Um, so you know, it's just kind of my job to, to to find that little bit of space in the box and time my runs in the box as we get service in. Um, so. Obviously, those guys are, are going to mark, mark you tight and not give you much time, time and space. And so it's just a, a matter of you know just trying to outsmart them in the box to to get that half a yard to get a chance on goal. Is that where your experience comes in, where you kind of have this understanding now, a hundred goals into your professional career, of of how you can manipulate that space and and find find avenues to find the back of the net. Yeah, I definitely think, you know, uh, the experience of having that, you kind of um, will have a knack to, to find somewhere. You kind of have to anticipate where the ball may be or, you know, you, you know where where it may end up. And that way, if you put yourself in that position, you know, I, I feel like if I'm going to get a couple of good chances, I'll, I'll put one away. So um, that, that experience definitely helps. I'm sure it's the same, you know, for a goalkeeper. The, the, the more situations they see, the more experience they have. Um, you know, that's why typically you see the, the, these older goalkeepers doing so well. What's the biggest hope for this team? Is is it definitely a kind of eye on the championship in particular with how disappointing it was to fall in the semi-finals this year, last season? Yeah, I mean, people come to, come to this club because they want to win a championship and... Um, you know that that's that's the goal. At the beginning of the year, we we want to win the Open Cup and we want to win the league. So that's the regular season and the playoffs. You know that's why why we're here. So we all have that common goal, and and that's definitely uh, what's on the radar. Well, Matt, best of luck with that pursuit. Best of luck this weekend as you head down to the Carolinas, and congratulations again on scoring your hundredth professional goal. Thanks very much. Delacat and the Kickers visit the Carolinas this weekend as they face the Charleston Battery on Friday night at Blackboard Stadium and the Wilmington Hammerheads on Saturday at Legion Stadium. Both games can be seen live and free on YouTube. And remember to follow USL Pro on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus and Instagram for live updates and news from around the league. <laughs>